Science has always been an integral, if not a driving part of human exploration. Uh, it was realized very early on in the Apollo program, we're talking early 1960s, that if our only goal was to set foot on the moon and return safely, that we would do one mission. And that we needed to have a purpose uh, for going to the moon, not just once, but many times perhaps to stay. And science was that goal. And we developed the Apollo Lunar Science Exploration Program, and they designed all of the experiments that we would do on the moon. And every lunar surface mission and, and many of the orbital missions carried extensive science. And our strategy, in fact, in the entire solar system has been to do flybys, to orbit, to land, and to rove. We have a long and successful history of exploration of Mars. Of course, Mariner 4 was the first spacecraft to fly by Mars very early in NASA's history. Today, we have Curiosity uh, doing just phenomenal science on the surface of Mars. We have Opportunity still roving. We have MAVEN in orbit. We have Odyssey in orbit. We have the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter in orbit. We've been joined by the MOM mission from India. Mars is a happening place today. But about three and a half to four billion years ago, Mars was an even more happening place. Curiosity and its roving has discovered that Mars once was a planet much like Earth. Uh, it had rivers, it had freshwater lakes, it had, uh, and from all of our investigations, it had large uh, salty seas. The Phoenix lander just a few years ago landed in the hopes of discovering water and its rocket plume blew the dust off a large glacier. It was sitting on water. So I, I would contend Mars is still a happening place. And the real key will be when we can get astrobiologists and planetary scientists in spacesuits on the surface then we'll have the kind of pace of, of scientific discovery that's going to allow us to answer that question of did Mars ever have life, which is really the question of are we alone in the universe.